Hey there, this is Jamie again, and welcome to the second video on simple linear regression. In this video, we're going to take a deeper look at what the two coefficients, the slope and the intercept, what do they mean? In the last video, we plotted this line of best fit through these data points for our 10 trucking deliveries, looking at the relationship between the miles traveled and the total time it took the driver. And we used a couple of different methods to come up with this estimated regression equation, right? the equation for this line that has a slope of 0.068, rounded here to 0.07, but at more decimal places, those numbers are numerically identical. And it has an intercept of 1.27. So how do we interpret these? The slope tells us the direction and the strength of the relationship between the two variables. And how we can really think of it probably most clearly is that it's the change in our y variable for each single unit change in our x variable. Let's call it actually the change in y resulting from a one unit change in x. And the intercept we can think of that as kind of the theoretical or hypothetical value of y when x is 0. And why do I call it the hypothetical value of y? Well, here I'll show you. Let me get this out of the way. For if we were to take, if we were to just take a look at this line, and right now it's fit through the data points that we have because we've got data on trips between of, that are between 50 and 100 miles long, yeah, 50 and 100 miles long. If we were to take this back to maybe 40 miles, you know, we would expect it to take around four hours, and we can carry it all the way back to 20 miles or. 10 miles, or but if we get back here, we're going to run into this y-axis where we travel zero miles. What is the value of travel time when miles are zero? Well, intellectually, we can imagine that it's probably zero because if you don't go anywhere, you have zero travel time. But our equation has another idea. It gives us a value when x is zero, y is equal to 1.27. That's the intercept. Sometimes it makes sense, um, and the practical meaning of the intercept is the same thing as the mathematical meaning, but in this case they're not the same thing because a travel, um, a trip of zero miles is not going to have a one hour, 1.27 hour travel time. The slope is perhaps a little more interesting because within this zone here, we're assuming that there's a linear relationship. And what that means is that if you increase x by one unit, y will increase by the value of that slope. So let me just show you that by creating two hypothetical deliveries. We've got hypothetical delivery 11 and hypothetical delivery 12. I'm going to put these in italics because they're just to show that they're not actual observations. They're just observations for illustration. And let's assume that the first one is 100 miles long and the next one is 101 mile long, right? X goes up by one unit from 100 to 101. Well, what happens then to the time that we think it's going to take? So to figure that out, we just solve for our estimated value of Y. And our estimated value of y is equal to the intercept, giving it an absolute reference here, plus beta 1, which is the slope, multiplied by the value of x, which is 100. I got a whole lot of decimal points there. And I'm going to drag it down. And let's just take a look here. I'm going to calculate the difference. And this difference is equal to how long it takes us to make a 101 mile delivery minus how long it takes us to make a 100 mile delivery. And that is when round, well, when 
no matter how many decimals you round it to, it's going to be identical to this, but let's get it in the same number of decimals. The difference is 0 0.068, right, equal to that slope. So a one unit change in x from 100 to 101 causes y to change by 0 0.068, which is the amount of that slope. And that's why we say that the slope is the change in y resulting from a change, a one unit change in x. So each time you increase the number of miles you travel by one, you should be adding 0 0.068 hours to your trip, at least as an estimate. All of those y hat points will get placed on this line. And as you can see, the actual data points hardly ever line up exactly on that line, but it will give us a ballpark estimate. It's the best estimate that we can make given the data is the one produced by least squares, least squares regression given this data. All right, so ask me any questions if you have them, and I will see you in the next video.